Hey guys, thank you very much for joining the live stream or for watching the recording. Today's video will be about the long-term visa for the Czech Republic. In general, the long-term visa is a sticker in your passport. So it's affixed to your passport by, to, uh, to your passport by a Czech embassy. The long-term visa, uh, the maximum validity of the long-term visa is one year and it cannot be renewed. It can only be renewed if you got the long-term visa for a shorter period of time than one year. The maximum is one year, but it can be shortened according to the documents you provide. So if you, for example, provide a shorter proof of accommodation, then your long-term visa can be shorter. And if the visa is not issued for the full year, you can extend it for whatever is left. So let's say you get a visa for six months, you can extend it for another six months. Or if you get a visa for eight months, you can extend it for another four months. But if you get a full 12 months visa, it cannot be extended. If you want to stay in the Czech Republic longer, you need to switch to a long-term residence permit, which is like a plastic biometric card. Uh, you, have, you have to apply for a Czech Republic long-term visa through a Czech embassy. It cannot really be applied in the Czech Republic. So whatever type of visa you're applying, you have to apply at the Czech embassy. In most cases, or generally, for most nationalities, you have to apply at the Czech embassy in the country of your origin. So if you're an Indian, you have to apply in India. If you're a South African, you need to apply in South Africa. But some nationalities have the exception that they can apply for a long-term visa uh, at any Czech embassy in the world. So for example, Americans, Canadians, Australians, they can apply for a visa at any Czech embassy in the world. Then the long-term visa must always have half, 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 half. <laughs> long-term visa, half, half, half. long-term visa must always have some official purpose of stay. So you cannot really come here and apply for a visa or apply for a visa in general saying, yeah, I just want to live in the Czech Republic because I like it here. Czech, Repu Czech Republic also doesn't offer anything like a digital nomad visa or investment or buy a property type of visa, anything like that. So you always must have some official, meaning approved by the Ministry of the Interior, uh, proof of stay or purpose of stay. And you need to support the purpose of stay by relevant and in some cases many uh, relevant documents. So the general types of purposes of stay accepted by the Ministry of the Interior are cultural, cultural visa, long-term visa are the purpose of stay culture, then studies, employment, now employment doesn't really exist, maybe the seasonal work now because employment type of visa is the employee card which is actually a long-term residence permit not a visa sticker in your passport and then business if you want to run business in the czech republic uh, then family reunification if you want to bring your family members when you're already living here and then the other purpose of stay for which you apply if you don't fall under any other category in most cases it's the if you study like non-accredited courses of some czech universities uh, yeah, I'm thinking if there is something something else I should say about the long-term visas. Maybe generally what documents are needed. It slightly depends on the purpose of your stay, but generally application form, passport, passport size photos, proof of accommodation, proof of funds, documents on the purpose of your stay, which means, for example, for business, you need to present a business plan. For studies, you need to present acceptance to some uh, university, acceptance letter to some university. For family reunification, it's birth certificate or marriage certificate, stuff like that. Uh, maybe also the approval time for most cases, or in most cases, uh, the approval time, the official approval time for a long-term visa is 60 to 120 days. But there's just a theory. Uh, in the real life, it's usually between two weeks and one year. Probably like a very widespread, but uh, unfortunately that's how it is. Uh, yeah, but I did another video about the, the duration of the approval times or the official approval times versus the <laughs> real life approval times. So I'll share it somewhere here. And uh, if you want to know more about the different or other types of visas, short term visas, residence permit, permanent residencies, you should definitely check this video out. So thank you very much guys and uh, for those of you who are watching live, 